I don't think the majority of Wabak County has an understanding of addiction. I don't think the majority of Americans have an understanding of addiction, what it really means. Addiction is a complex condition, a brain disease, that is manifested by compulsive substance use despite harmful consequence. People with addiction have an intense focus on using certain substances, such as alcohol or drugs, to the point that it takes over their life. They keep using alcohol or a drug even when they know it will cause problems. Until you've been there, you, you don't truly understand that. You don't see the struggles that they go through from day to day. We're in the middle of an opiate epidemic. There's such a stigma around it. You know, they're considered junkies. I mean, that is such a derogatory term, junkie. So who wants to be known as that? Who wants to come out and say that this is what's going on with me? What's my mom and dad going to think? What's my grandma and grandpa going to think? What are my brothers and sisters going to think? What about my employer, my community? Um, it's very difficult. It's a disease, but uh, so many people don't see it as that. I specifically remember uh, an investigation that we worked that involved prescription medication. I had known the family for a number of years, and the, one of the hardest things that we dealt with was we had to go into the house with a search warrant, and we had to remove the mother from the house. Uh, addiction has impacted every part of my life, personally and professionally. Um, on a personal level, I've, I've lost family members to addiction. Um, I have family members who are in recovery from addiction, and I myself um, in, am in uh, long-term recovery from addiction. My name is Aaron Holt. I am a clinical substance abuse counselor, and I am the coordinator for um, the Wapaka County Treatment Court. I'm Rebecca Green. I go by Becky. I work for Wapaka County Health and Human Services. The heroin epidemic has come about because of uh, the overprescribing of opiates, um, Vicodin, um, Oxycontin, Oxycodone, those kinds of drugs. My name is uh, Brian Hozell. I'm the Chief of Police with the City of Wapaka Police Department. The observations that I had was a lot of um, drug addiction and a lot of it we were seeing was um, prescription medication. I'm Vicki Klusman. I'm the primary drug court judge for Wapaka County. When I was working as a prosecutor. I had a number of cases of individuals that were addicted uh, strictly to, to medication that was prescribed by a doctor. The medical field, I don't believe, knew how fast an addiction could grow with this medication. By getting people involved in treatment uh, versus sending someone um, to jail. And as I certainly have learned over the years, addiction is a disease. Um, and so sending someone to jail for a disease doesn't treat the disease at all. One of the things that I didn't realize or I didn't understand is I always thought it was a choice that a person used drugs. I didn't understand that it was a mental illness. Addiction is definitely an illness. Once they've given everything away, they start, they start doing criminal activity uh, to support their habit. We know, we can absolutely, absolutely know now that overuse of substances changes the way the brain works. They steal from them, they manipulate them, they lie to them. What cancer is, is an overactivity of cellular growth in a negative way. What is diabetes? Our body is not working the same way it used to be. So with the addiction model of disease, our brain has changed. Honestly, it, it would make no sense for a person to say, you know, that I'm gonna wake up today and decide to use drugs to the point that I'm going to lose everything, um, including or possibly my life. I think addiction affects most families, not here just in Wapaka County, um, but other places. All of us either know somebody or have family that suffers from addiction. Wapaka County definitely has a drug and alcohol problem. Um, that's not unlike 
most counties. It's real hard for police officers because you always hear that, you know, if somebody overdoses, why don't you just let them die? You know, that's not why we got into our profession, why we got into our jobs. We're here to help people. And you can't let somebody like that just pass away. Addiction has absolutely no boundaries as to who it affects. It doesn't matter what color, it doesn't matter what sex you are, male or female, it doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter how much money you have. The stigma, right, that, that, that this is some choice that you made and that you're obviously uh, making bad choices and so that means that you're a bad person. One of the problems that Wapakagoni has is we live in a rural community, so we don't have a lot of programs that are out there to help the individuals that need the help. We don't have any treatment facilities. There's not even close to, to um, enough resources. Unfortunately, there's, there's limited treatment resources available right within the county. The statistics certainly show that uh, incarceration really doesn't do much uh, to stop recidivism. During the years of the abuse, that we thought that we were making a difference, that we were putting these people, we were incarcerating them for dealing pills, using pills. Uh, we found out when they got out of jail that they were still addicted, they still suffered from problems. It's a lot less expensive to have someone in treatment than it is to have them in jail or in prison. For the first thing a person has to do is, is ask for help. They can go to their physician. I think it's a good idea to get some sort of professional help, whether through a counselor, you can um, speak to your doctor. And they can turn to um, some support meetings like um, Alcoholics Anonymous or Narcotics Anonymous. Mutual support groups that are available for a person uh, to come into that are no cost. Uh, you can get experience from other people that uh, are in recovery. There's also smart recovery meetings um, they can call the county um, here and talk with myself or a secretary. Uh, Wisconsin has just added uh, the 211 line, so anybody can call 211 and um, find out about different uh, treatment resources that are available for people that are seeking help uh, from addiction. The biggest thing is just taking that first step to ask for help. There's a time where the door opens for, for someone that's dealing with the substance abuse. It's like, okay, I'm ready. This happened, now I need to go. And we as a society, as a, as, a, as, a, as a county, as a country, as a state, we certainly are not providing what's needed on that. When it's time, when they're ready, that's when we need to take help somebody and have the resources. When I took the bench in 2014, I was really interested in trying to establish a drug court program in Wapaka County. I had heard from other counties that they were having success uh, with individuals in drug court and I wanted to get one going here. We see a lot of success through the drug court program. I think it was about three or four months into the program uh, where we were in one of our treat or our drug court team meetings where we all realized that some of our participants were really starting to turn their lives around. It's never hopeless. The only time it's hopeless is when someone stops trying. The, the treatment court just recently had their first graduate in um, this past in February of 2019. Um, there's a few more graduations that will be coming up in the next uh, four to six weeks or so. I think as many chances as it takes is what we should be offering and that's what people need.